The time has come to open the files and make public all the information we can about this tragic event in our nation's history. The bill before us today does several things. It would make public not only material from the House Select Committee, I understand the Select Committee has over 800 boxes now on uh, available, but also material from other agencies of government, including the Warren Commission, the CIA. I'm told the CIA has 300,000 pages, FBI, Justice Department, and other executive branch departments and agencies. But the premise of the bill is in favor of the public's right to know, as it should be. A number of recent polls have shown that approximately 75% of the American people believe that there was a conspiracy to assassinate President Kennedy. Of this number, about half believe that the CIA was involved in such a conspiracy. These are astonishing figures. We cannot remove all doubts about the institutions of our government with this or any other single bill, but we can take a step in the direction of openness. I'm not here to suggest that there was any conspiracy to assassinate President Kennedy. I simply do not know. My interest in the bill is to get as much information out into the public domain as we can and let the debate go forward on the basis of as much factual information as possible so that the debate about these events will not be encumbered with charges of cover-up. The worst thing we can do is to feed the cynicism that already exists by creating a perception that something is being concealed from the American people. We are today, unfortunately, in a climate of cynicism about government, and if information is withheld, it only adds to that cynicism and lack of trust in government. This is one of many efforts that must be undertaken to restore public confidence in the Congress and in our government. The Kennedy assassination will be debated probably for centuries to come. But the assassination of President Kennedy was an event of enormous importance in American history and has been the focus of tremendous controversy. We need to make as much information public as we can and then let the journalists, the scholars, and the historians, and the ordinary Americans try to resolve the questions that remain based on all the available information. Had the committee come to any conclusion at all as to uh, have you finding information or things that would have led you to different uh, findings in the Warren Commission? At the time that we concluded our investigation, um, we, we and ran into some scientific information. And based upon that scientific information, the committee uh, concluded that there was the probability of a conspiracy. And uh, based upon that scientific uh, information or data, we concluded that uh, there was another shot from the grassy knoll there in Dealey Plaza. And, evidence too. and then, of course, of course, we utilized that evidence along with other evidence, supporting evidence, to come to the conclusion that there was the probability of a conspiracy. And that was at about the time that we concluded our investigation. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the balance of my Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I know we have a number of other witnesses, so I'll be brief. I just want to echo the sentiments I've heard from the chair, my ranking member, Mr. Horton, and the witnesses. I think that public confidence in government in this country is at an all-time low. And I think that's the case for a number of reasons. But I think one of those reasons is the public belief that government simply won't tell them the truth and that government hides information uh, nearing in their minds a cover-up. That there was the probability of a conspiracy.